Good morning. morning. Welcome to beautiful Savior and welcome to all of those worshiping with us online. We know we uh, we have between two to three hundred people a week worshiping online with us. So thank you for being here with us. And if you happen to live in the Bloomfield Hills, Michigan area, we'd love for you to stop in in person. And a special welcome to all of the guests who have uh, come here today, maybe for the first time or come back after a while. We'd love for everyone to fill out a blue slip to let us know that you've been in worship with us. It lets us, uh, maybe you have a question that you want to have answered. Go ahead and check that off on the sheet and just drop it in the plate. Uh, Today is the day of Pentecost, the day that the church is born, that the Holy Spirit, that God's Spirit breathed life into this body of uh, believers, people who are hiding and timid in an upper room and after being filled with the Spirit, went out uh, courageously and shared the good news uh, with, with the people locally and then eventually globally. It just expanded um, the church beyond belief. And so here we are today, 2,000 years later, and that's actually why we are wearing red right now. Um, well, some of us are wearing red. I will admit I forgot to wear red underneath here, so I got the red on the outside. But red all over because red is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. You'll see some red in a few weeks when... Youth are confirmed. You'll see red um, when we have ever anything to do with the, that fire and breath of the Spirit breathing life into the church. Today we have our, uh, one of our two annual congregational meetings, and this is the one where we elect or re-elect members of the church council. It happens right between the worship services out in the Welcome Center. We'd love for you to join us. Uh, It's a relatively simple, straightforward time. We get to share um, some snacks and coffee or tea or whatever you like, uh, and uh, it's a good time with one another. Today we are continuing a worship series on healthy relationships. And today in particular, we're talking about um, what it means to be part of a church. Why does being part of a church matter? And um, connected with this, I want to share some sad news. I, I just got a phone call. Um, Just before worship, um, one of our sisters in Christ, uh, Holly Beebe, just passed away. And I know that's a tough thing to say. I share it here in the beginning of worship. And there's so many of you I wanted to tell beforehand, but her son just called me right before worship and and asked that I share it with all of you. I know some of you have been lifelong friends with her, but we'll have a service um, for her when that all starts coming together. But It's such a powerful, strong reminder of why we are the church. We gather as sisters and brothers in Christ. We gather to support. We gather to celebrate. We gather to rejoice that death is not the end. It does not win. And life has the final say. 